Lose it. Yeah, chicken. Yeah, whatever. Chicken wing. Chicken wing. Hot dog again. There you go. Bologna. Chicken and macaroni. Chicken and macaroni. Hi! Kip and Christina stay over here if you're watching. This is the replay. Comment replay, especially if you're on Facebook. Um, Superstar Directors for Sensi, what's up? Uh, we are going to give, give you our sniffs. Sniff. sniff descriptions of our, it's not even first sniffs. We've had these for a minute. I couldn't wait. But there's 10 brand new fragrances for spring and summer. They're all amazing. Um, Kip actually already, Kip was labeling all of our catalogs. And um, literally every single smell, he's like, oh, this is just so good. Every single sticker he was putting in the catalog. So it was just kind of funny listening to him do I that. I probably tell you which order they go in by, in the catalog at this point, to be honest. Um, no need, but thank you for your expertise in that area. <laughs> Are you like that'd be by sticker, but not by alphabet alphabetization. Um, so the new releases are Apple Teeny Splash, Clementine Cupcake, Coconuts for Coconuts, which I think is supposed to be Cocoa for Coconuts, but they did the little parenthesis nuts. Um, they really like their parentheses in fragrance names lately. Like, I feel like we always, every season, we have something that is a pun of some kind. Uh, Daydream Oasis, Paradise Petals, Pineapple Mango, Pink Rhubarb Sugar, Shoreline Drive, Summer Moonlight, White Amber Antique. If you heard all of that or caught any of it, let me know which one you're excited about um, before we tell you what they smell like. So, I guess we'll start with Apple Teeny Splash, which is green apple and noshy pear stirred with a big splash of simple syrup. Um, just a reminder, these are available starting tomorrow, spring and summer catalog, which a lot of you who know me know it's my favorite catalog. Um, uh, over the last like probably three, three years now, spring and summer has slowly oh, become yeah. my absolute favorite catalog of the year. So, um, they just, it's just always so fresh and bright and exciting and I love bright colors. I mean, just look how pretty this page is. So it just, I vibe with the spring and summer one. Definitely exactly what it says. Green apple and Apple teeny splash. Green apple and nashi pear. Okay. It's very bright. It's very fruity. bright, fruity. The green apple, though, I would say is like more like an apple skin. Like it's very green and sour. Like it's not like a... It's got like a sour... It's not like a farmy apple smell. It's like a sour it's green sour. apple. The pear is there. If any of you guys liked the Simply Nashi <laughs> Pear from several years ago, that is out of the archives... That is what, like, the undertone of this says. It's, like, green apple skin plus that Simply Nashi Pear smell. Um, and it says a splash of simple syrup, which would be a sweet, sugary undertone. It's very good. It's obviously in the fruity collection. The next one is Clementine Cupcake, which is in our bakery section. And it's a warm vanilla cupcake infused with sweet clementine and sprinkled with lemon sugar. It's exactly... If you like food smells, you're gonna really like this one. Um, it's very similar to like a birthday cake sugar cookie as far as it can go all year if you're into that. If you're into that. It smells like a, a vanilla cupcake with um, orange like, mm -hmm. frosting or orange. Yeah, if you've ever had like orange cake where people make it with like mandarin oranges and like probably yellow cake mix. Stop shaking. Sorry. Um, stop. Just stop. It's really good. For being a baked smell, it's light, it's airy and fresh smelling. Um, but if you've ever like had someone make you those like kind of bunk cakes where they're like a can of like fruit. Pineapple's good, that's a good one too. The mandarin orange cake too. I have a friend here. So if I look off screen, <laughs> there's a person over there. I'm not talking to a ghost or my imaginary friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, just like whispering. <laughs> yeah, like a pineapple, like canned, and it's like a can of pineapple and like a can and a box of yellow cake mix, essentially. Like you can do that with a lot of different fruits. It's dump cake. Yeah, it smells like mandarin orange dump cake, but very, very light. Hi, Amanda. Yes, it's good. Um, the next one is coconuts for coconuts, which is an ocean breeze weaves along a coastline that's lush with wild coconut and tiare flower. No. Um, it so smells like sunscreen to me. I was me. kind of surprised. Yeah, it smells like sun. Like a coconutty sunscreen. Sunscreen. I like it. It's very fresh. 
it's technically in the fresh category. So that makes sense. I don't know about that. Yeah, it's, it's more in the fresh, not, so like it does say tiare flower and you know, you're a wild coconut. Sometimes you'd think that that would go into a floral category, but somehow they've made the coconuts and the flower smell fresh and not. It smells kind of like a, like a laundry scent, but it smell laundry or, or uh, it's sun, just really sunscreen. good. Yeah. It smells like sunscreen, but like with like the ocean breeze, like you can smell that as weird as that sounds like it has a, there's definitely that in there. So like it smells more experiential and not just like, I get mostly the coconut and the flower in it. I get a lot of like the airy ozonic-y stuff, but I like that smell a lot. It's really good. So if you're not like usually a huge coconut smell person, this is actually really good. It's good for a good. coconut. Um, it's more like a earthy coconut and not necessarily you like smell a, this as we're doing it? Um, not like a, it's not like an edible coconut. It's definitely more of an earthy coconut kind of smell. Daydream Oasis. I'm super psyched about this one. If anybody knows, two years ago, there was a fragrance called Mineral Oasis, uh, that was released in the spring and it did not come back and I didn't add it to my club and I will regret that every day of my life. Mineral Oasis and um, Evergreen and Grapefruit are two fragrances I did not so add to my club, even though as a consultant I know better and should have, and I did not, um, that I will regret for the rest of my life because they were special collection scents and they will never come back, um, most likely. So unless somehow we get lucky with a uh, bring back my bar, but it won't. I'm going to read this one. Time out. So Daydream Oasis smells exactly like mineral oasis to me so if you liked mineral oasis you'll like this one lose yourself in sweet melon and visions of luminous pear leaf and water lily that's the description for daydream oasis yeah it smells like a shower it smells like mineral oasis it smells like you just took a shower and everything smells good yeah it's mineral oasis it's fantastic Amanda says that Southern Sweet Tea is her regret that she did not add to club. Yes. I'm not a coconut person, but this is really good. It is Tiffany really good. says she's not a coconut person, but the coconut scent I'm is very good. Either. I'm not a coconut person either. It's really good. Um, Daydream Oasis is just fantastic. If you love really fresh, mildly floral fragrances that smell kind of soapy laundry, mm -hmm. but like mm -hmm. beachy at the same time, that's a fantastic one. Very, very clean. Yeah. Paradise Petals, also delicious. This is Neroli and Orange Zest Beckon from a Utopia of Tropical White Blues. Paradise Petals. Are you resetting your nostrils? I'm gonna smell myself. Ah. Yeah. Kip's gonna have an experience with everyone who smells, so just be prepared for it. I'm trying to, trying to equate that to something. Um, really you can definitely smell the orange zest in this one, which I think is a really cool compliment to the floral petals. Um, that the orange zest actually is smellable. Very which, strong. It's like, it makes it like an invigorating floral. Like, so it's almost like in the citrus category, but has the floral. I, it's just a good, it's a really cool, um, fragrance. There's just two completely like almost opposite ish smells like yeah. great at citrus and floral like if you look at our little fragrance ring in the category in the catalog it shows they do go really well together but this is probably the first time i've smelled a scent that has them very independently like when you smell it you can smell them completely separate which i think is delicious it's a really good one paradise petals was that one hi maria mm. paradise petals. i love that one that one's gonna have to get warm too. A lot um, of these have flowers mm -hmm. in them. Which over the years I've learned to really appreciate our florals. We just do them in a way that's not like. Obnoxious. So fun. there's a very big difference between our old floral fragrances like Lush Gardenia and Lilacs and Violets. So if you've smelled those in your life and you're like, ooh, I hate florals, smell our new florals. Um, Cause those are very like vintagely formulated fragrances. Um, they're very like early 2000s-esque. Like you can just tell that we've come a long way in the way that we formulate fragrance. So give new florals a try. Um, you might actually like them more than you think. We, we love them now. Really good. This is pineapple mango. This one's a good one. A bright blend of sweet pineapple and juicy mango softened by passion flower. Softened. It smells like um, a bottle of like pineapple fruit drink if you buy it. 
I just crack it open for the first time. So that's my Pineapple fruit drink, fruit drink that you buy. This is very good. Again, very bright and and fruity, but floral. hi Meg. She said thanks for the description of on the new floral. I am not a floral person. I'm usually not. Like if you guys, or I usually, I used to not be, but like mm -hmm. if anybody has watched us long enough, you know that like we really love our earthy smells. And we love, like, um, woodsy, earthy. We love our pine. We love clean. Um, so all the laundry smells we love. Any of the um, men fragrances. Um, so honestly, the natural next step was a good floral for how much we love earthy fragrances. Um, Scentsy's florals now are a lot earthier and natural smelling, if that makes sense. So they're not as perfumey, grandma-y as they used to be. They're definitely more of like, this is straight off the flower kind of smell. Like if you like smelling a bouquet of flowers versus perfume, we are now more of that bouquet of flowers zone, I feel like, which is good. So yeah, this is pineapple mango. If you love fruity smells and you've loved bright, exciting um, summer smells, this one's so good. It just smells like just summer happiness. Yeah, the pineapple mango. Probably my favorite pineapple fragrance we've had yet. It smells juicy. It, it, does smell very it juicy. smells very juicy. It's very good. So probably my favorite pineapple that we've had yet. And my favorite mango I think that we've had. It's just, it's got a real mango, real pineapple smell. Mm -hmm. Pink rhubarb sugar. This one's really yummy. It smells like candy. It's pink rhubarb sweetened with sparkling raspberry and an extra scoop of sugar. It's very sweet, very candy smelling. It's almost like, like a Pop Rocks bubblegum sucker. Like, it's good. It's, but it's the almost raspberry got a, is good. Like an effervescent, a, sparkly. Effervescent, like tart, soury mm -hmm. end to it. You know those like sweet tart suckers that I pointed out the other day that I was like, I really yeah. love these. They're yeah, like, they're like suckers, suckers yeah. but they're just a sweet tart on the end that you just kind of like slowly chew off. Or like a Jolly Rancher sucker, maybe. Yeah, Jolly Rancher suckers. Either way, it's very good, um, but it's kind of a grown-up candy smell. It's not necessarily like overly sweet cavity. It's there's just more to it, and I think it's the passion flower because it says it's softened by passion flower. That's not. I think that was a very right. nope. No, sorry, no. that was the other one. Just kidding. It's the it must be the rhubarb then that tones it back down because otherwise it'd be raspberry and sugar, which would be candy. Mm -hmm. I think the rhubarb is that like tart smell that's and in it there. Evens out. The it evens sweetness. it out. Yeah. Shoreline Drive, another really good one. It's take the scenic route with dewy greens and passion flower as sea mist guides the way. Can you picture sea mist guiding the way? I love Sea mist would probably block your I can't see. field of view, so. I missed it. <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. Usually a lighthouse guides okay. the way. Uh, this one is a clean. He says it should be a lighthouse guides the way. Actually. Um, I have the glasses. You can push them up and pretend. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is a clean, uh, oceany smell, obviously. Sea mist. Oh, it smells really good. It is so good. It's definitely slightly less feminine, more masculine on the clean, which I feel like for me it's a heads more of a laundry. It's a calming zone. laundry, mm -hmm. fresh scent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one's really good. It's a very gentle clean. Like, if you love punch you in the face clean smells, go with Shoreline Drive. Or, I mean, sorry, Daydream Oasis. If you like really gentle, soft, open the windows kind of clean, Shoreline Drive is more of that kind of a clean. Summer Moonlight. This one, you wouldn't expect to smell as good as it does. It is fresh strawberries, which I'm usually not a strawberry scent person. Um, but the strawberries are going to sparkle alongside sweet pea, which I love sweet pea, and shimmering sandalwood. It's really good. Strawberries with sweet pea and sandalwood just sounds completely so like opposites. There's a lot going on in this Yeah. One. You got the sweetness of the strawberries and then the sandalwood, which is the earthy, like more musky smell. Which I guess is true. They are opposites. Look at the wheel. Strawberry, fruity, yeah, it's, and woods. It's weird. And clean over here. It smells In a really good, good way. Yeah. And then the shimmering part, it's like, it is kind of bubbly. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Scent. Okay, hold on. I didn't like that one piece. It's so interesting. I want to warm this one because it's just such a unique smell. It is. 
different. But it's very sweet and earthy at the same time. It's just like a really interesting... Polar opposite. It's either going to smell awesome or like feet. Like, I think it's going to be one of those things where you have to warm it to find out. But it smells good. Let's be Unless real. you like that. I mean, you might like feet. Some people do. <laughs> Some people do. <laughs> I've heard. I've heard. Sometimes that's... I've heard these things on the internet. Uh, white amber antique. Alluring amber antique are going to flirt with fresh bergamot. Who's going to win, though? If amber antique are both flirting with bergamot, who's going to win? It's a th it's a... <laughs> Shush, you're Never done. This, they saved the best for last, though. This, this is, is the one. best. Kip. Oh, God. It's all right. He loves it so oh, much. I he it. can't handle himself. Alluring Amber Antique flirt with oh, fresh bergamot. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. I mean, it does sound... It, I mean, it smells a little bit. Don't even know if I can describe it. It's too... It, it leaves Kip speechless. It's too good. If you love masculine smells, if you are a business casual fan, a world traveler fan, a My Dear Watson, this is everything you love about every single one of those fragrances you've ever smelled all in one but better. It's just got... It's the entire package when it comes to an earthy, masculine um, cologne smell. It's just fantastic. But it's not too masculine, though. It's not like a... It's not like a business casual or a... I don't know. It's fantastic. It's like walking into... <sighs> you're going to say Abercrombie or Hollister, and then you're going to be no. like, broken. What is it like walking into? What was that one store you like at the fashion mall that I got a gift card to, and I never used it? Altered State? Altered State. Like, walking into Altered State, or... It's not... Uh, it's, um... And then you never used it. I hope people caught that. I still have it. Um, what's that one when we first walk in... Across from where Baron Rose used to be, the um, anthropology. Anthropo it's like a mixture between anthropology and the other one, Alter State. So it's delicious. It's so good. Um, and delicious so is good. like an understatement. Like it's just fantastic. It's just if you like this zone of fragrance, if you tend to align with us on fragrance and what we like, you're gonna love this. You need to buy it right now. Um, so there's that. If you're watching this and it's still January, let me know. Um, I'm doing pre-orders of 10 packs, one of each of the new scents, so you can try them all. Um, and I will be ordering those tomorrow, so let me know if you want one of each. Um, and yeah, there you go. That is all coming tomorrow. And if you're watching this tomorrow, then it's already out, so what are you waiting for? All of it's delicious. So um, with that said, new catalog begins February 1st, and it's just an amazing catalog. I have them all ready to go. If you need a new one, let me know, and we will mail those out to you ASAP. And with that said, have a great rest of your day. Bye. -bye.